Hello and welcome back to Rick's Kits for Stash Ads Part 2. This is still vehicles, but this is cars, trucks and bikes. First up on the uh, block is this Tyra Racing Yamaha YZFR1 uh, in 112. Very nice looking bike. We have carbon decals for the um, Rick and Rear, I suppose you call it a rear fender. We call it a mud guard. But yeah. So you've got carbon fiber decal in there for that. Um, and you've got a, a plastic laminated sheet which goes across that blazing at the front um that should be quite interesting put that one on did it wrong um why have i got a yamaha why is it fr1 well little reason for that i built this and this is a yamaha YZF <clears throat> R1, which could have been built in three ways blue, as in here, red, white, or white, red. I chose the blue option. Uh, I thought it looked a rather nice, smart bike, and decided to get the rest of the Yamaha YZF R1s. I'm not a bike person, so to me this is, you no, know, I do, I make kits for how I want to make kits, if that makes sense. You know, if I like it, I buy it, I make it. So, I like the look of that, I decided I was going to get Tyra Racing, why is it FR1? Uh, I will be getting two more of the road bike so I want to do the red white and the white red uh, and not to be outdone on that one we have the other Yamaha YZF R1M very nice looking bike again 112 squirrel 112 squirrel 112 scale uh, and Tamiya uh, detail four cylinder 998cc engine nice I like the decals on this one you've got if all the uh, carbon fibre is including that or whether that is a separate decal I have to buy I do like the blue on this this goes with the blue on the other bike let's have decals they are Okay, so looking through the car, oh, there is no carbon fibre decal. Demarcation on it. Have a look just right. So item one, two, six, eight, one is the carbon pattern decal. So they need to be bought, and there's also the front fork set for this kit as well. Uh, I'm not too particularly worried about the front fork set. Oh, excuse me for banging the microphone. But I think I do need to get the carbon fibre decals so it looks how it's supposed to look with carbon fibre on all the fairings and stuff. So, 
but we shall do. Away, away from bikes, we are on another Tamiya kit. Subaru Impreps uh, works from Rally Car 98 Monte Carlo. Uh, and we know whose number this is on the old Colin McRae, God rest his soul. Just recently, I know Shamey has completed this. Um, put lights and everything in as he normally does, and these were removable, I believe, with um, contact points underneath and an earth magnet to hold them in place. Uh, I'm not quite going to go that far. Yeah, watch this video. Uh, any of these videos or not subscribed to me? And you can go across to Shamey BM, Shamey BMW. Uh, fantastic. Um, builder and everything, just about everything he touches is he lights up. And there's lights everywhere. At the moment, I think he's doing um, a buddy build with Ice Queen 7. Sorry, Sue, if I've sort of butchered that. Um, uh, Terminator. But yeah, always liked uh, a Subaru and Pretzer. I don't do. I don't do many modern vehicles. The last modern vehicle I think I've done was that um, Ford GT4. Which that is, yeah, the Ford GT4. The only other modern vehicle I think I have at this moment in time is a Porsche 934 Valiant I did as well a long time ago. Everything else seems to be roughly 40s, 50s. 60s and touching on 70s. Uh, this is this is uh, 1998. It's vehicles that I'm going to get, I think. So here we have the monogram 59 Cadillac Eldorado Seville hard top. Um, I have built this kit before, but not specifically this one. I have built. A monogram version of the Cadillac Eldorado. Uh, let me quick bike out the way. Knocking onto it. And this is the convertible version. No, that's not. He's sticking out the back. We get to do a swap over. Take the rag top off. Put that in there. Um, we've knocked one of the. But this is a, a beautiful. This is going to be same. It is a very, very, very nice kit. There is loads of detail in this kit. And yes, this one was pink. This is the pink monogram Cadillac. Uh, but I finished mine off in pearl white. So let me put that and let me just show you one thing. We're looking forward to expecting if I don't damage anything. There's the detail in the kit of the engine. So you've, you've got a very, very full engine in there parts you name it what well, it's all in there it is a fantastic absolutely wonderful looking kit and if anyone knows me i love my cadillacs yeah eldorado cadillac seville again very 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 nice looking kit i think I believe this is molded in color. It's more, it's close to molded. There, it looks a lot lighter than what it actually. I'm I'm looking at RAF type blue. But yeah, beautiful, and it's got a rag top, even though rag top. 
I don't know if it's out, I think. I look forward again to putting that one together. Uh, this I may be holding off um, because I'm thinking of joining Rob's um, what do you call it? Fat Fenders and um, Fat Fenders and Chrome group build, which is at least starts about November and. Rob is Time Machine Scale Models. If you have not subscribed to him, then go over and subscribe to him. Great guy, a very friendly guy. And a pretty knowledgeable guy too. Good resistance one. 65 Chevy Impala SS 396. Now this is finished off in like a purpley sort of colour. Um, I've got a 60, I want to say a 61 and a 63 Impala. Um, but this, and the reason behind my getting this is my dad had a yellow one of these back in the days, the 65. And it, man, that thing was huge. Like, Driving around in a boat. It was massive. So yeah, let's see. Oh no, we're finished in one. Again, I've got a hundred percent feeling that the detailing on this is going to be as good as the detailing on that fifty nine Cadillac. I would say judging by some of the I am not going to be wrong. There's the assembly of 390. Is that what it is? A 396 engine block. It gets painted in orange. Uh, not knowing much about the uh, engines, etc. I'm going. I'm going to make an assumption. It's either a small or a large block Chevy. Yeah, it looks extremely detailed. You've got some sort of fading going on here. A little bit of that, so looking forward to putting that one. To I am clear parts out of the bag. Um, some of that's dust. Uh, they will need to clean. Yep, I look forward to that one. What about the uh, purpley colour? I think my I, I might actually paint mine same colour as my father's car in a yellow. Okay, last one up for this. We're uh, touching at about fourteen minutes. I do like a American rig as well. Again, got this. Dirt cheap, dirt, dirt cheap. It's the AMT Ertel, and I do mean dirt cheap. Still covered in the dust from the place that I got it from. Uh, 120 for scale, GMC General. Hollow vial tires and a detailed Detroit diesel. V I'm assuming that's a V8. A V92N engine, tilting hood, and and I love the colouring on this. Uh, Forty-five pounds, and uh, no VAT on it either, because it's a vintage kit. So yeah, we have. That's cool. And this is the old. So you can, as you can see, this is old style of. Or a different style, should I say, to the matchbox. So that was a very similar matchbox. It's not stapled together that I can ever remember. Um, but on looking at this kit, even though I am pleased as punch to be getting this kit, 
be disappointed. Because the person who I bought it off, and I'm not, I'm not going to name them, uh, told me nothing about the broken windshield. I have a snapped windshield. And I'm not impressed at all. I am going to build it, but I think I may have to cut corners windshield out. Find another um, piece of plastic that I can uh, put across the front of the cab on the inside. Who represent this fortunate broken miss glass but yeah very disappointing otherwise another kit i'm looking forward to but that's it that's the end of the stash ads thank you for watching thank you for staying with me once again, thank you to my subscribe. I appreciate you all. That's it for now. Thank you. Goodbye.